Well, folks, we did it. We reached the third Wood Series. Yeah, yeah, let's celebrate. Let's go out and have a party. Uh, calm down, everybody. It's only 1906. We still got a long, long way to go. 1906 Wood Series. Today on MLB Time Capsule. A time when Theodore Roosevelt was still president. World War I hadn't happened yet. And the freaking Chicago Cubs are in this World Series. So, this World Series 1906 features another two new, um, two new combatants. Again. And if you're keeping track so far, the Boston Red Sox won the first one and the New York Giants won the second World Series. So, this is the third one. We're going to have another new champion. Representing the National League. Led by manager Frank Chance. Player manager. Featuring all famers such as Mordecai Brown. And featuring one of the best Chicago Cubs teams ever that won 116 games and had the highest winning percentage at like 0.756 from the National League. The Chicago Cubs. Oh no. I hope they lose. <laughs> um, and in this corner, in the American League, one of the worst teams ever. Representing Chicago? Ah, Crosstown World Series. Hey, look at that. The Chicago White Sox. Now, this was one of the best World Series of the, um, when the World Series was just starting. Uh, the first one was good. The second one was an absolute snooze fest. This one had one of the greatest upsets of all time. Nobody expected the White Sox to win. Everybody thought that the Cubs would, you know, just slaughter them and the Cubs would move on and play other things. But no. The Chicago White Sox beat the Chicago Cubs. Thank you. Somebody actually beat the Cubs. Thank God. And the Chicago Cubs still have not won a World Series. I was just waiting to say that. Um, if, if you look at this series... You know, the Chicago Cubs, this is one of the best Cubs teams in the history of Chicago baseball. Um, this was the first Subway Series World Series. And I know people can say, oh, wait a minute, Walk Talk. You know, the Subway system hasn't even been built yet, so, you know, you're lying to us. What I mean, guys, by cross by Subway Series World Series is it's crosstown rivalry. You can walk to the south side of Chicago or the north side. It doesn't really matter because the whole series is played in Chicago. Um, one of the parks was West Side Grounds, and the other one I'm forgetting off the top of my head where the White Sox played. But this was before Wrigley Field and U.S. Cellular that's around today, so, you know. Um, but again, as I said, the White Sox this year were one of the biggest underdog teams. Nobody expected this team to win, let alone win four games to two. Um, the first two games... Or no, the first four games were back and forth. Uh, White Sox won game one. Cubs came back to win game two. White Sox won game three. Cubs came back to win game four. Now, game five was really where the White Sox wanted to win. I think they won that game seven to two. They played the best that they could. And this was a team who, during the series, hit a uh, .198. And that is one of the worst percentages in the history of uh, Major League Baseball. In the World Series. And, and, you know, you're thinking, how could a team like that be so good? Do I look like I know? I was around in 1906. Now, again, I have to say, television coverage didn't start till 1947. So, I don't know what went on. I'm just going to have to believe what they say. And I actually have to say, I got wrong um, the AL and NL championships. There wasn't any until 1969. So, the last episode just disregarded what I said about um, New York and Philadelphia. They didn't play anybody. It was... At this time, the two best teams, and the Cubs are the best team, and everybody's like, oh, man, they're going to beat the White Sox. So if you're keeping track now, the White Sox now have a World Series all their own. So that makes two for the American League and one for the National League. Hey, Red Sox, you got company in there. And the Giants, they're still sitting pretty. They're the only National League team that's won. Um... Now, what else can I say? In a lot of these early World Series, I'm just going to go off of what I read and notes that I made because, again, there's really not too much to talk about. You know, I wasn't there. None of us were born yet. Show of hands. Anybody here born in um, 1906? Anybody? 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 Exactly. I didn't think so. And and if you say that you were, well, then I don't know why you're watching this. I mean, I should go talk to you. If anybody knows anybody that's born in 1906 and watches this, let me know. I want to go talk to them. Um, like I said... 
I'm guessing it was a great series. They won four to two, and it was one of the the most. Um, it was one of the biggest upsets ever because again. Nobody expected this team known as the Hitless Wonders, the White Sox, to win. I mean, these guys, if you watch the regular season, which I assume is somewhere on a tape somewhere maybe, they couldn't hit. They had the lowest percentage in the AL that year. Um, not in the World Series. I'm talking about regular season. They hit like a point two two five, which is abysmal. And you're thinking somehow this team ends up in the World Series, whereas the Cubs... We were just beating everybody. They lost 36 games that year. They won 116. Everybody that they played, they were beaten. Now, you're going to be like, well, they lost 36 games. Well, yeah, but, you know, they had to play series. So they lost a couple of series, but they beat every team that they played. And this team had Mordecai Brown on it, who was one of the greatest, earliest um, pitchers that they had. Um, you know, me personally, you're going to see in this series that the Cubs become sort of like a running joke. <laughs> because Cubs don't win. And then all you Cub fans, we thought, oh, yeah, we're going to win 19-06. No, you're not. Because the White Sox did it first, and they did it better. And I'm pretty sure all those Sox are like, oh, yeah, we win. Yeah, and the Cubs are like, oh, no, we lost 116 games. All for nothing. Thanks for coming, Cubs. You just got served. Um, You know, probably the highlight was Game 5, because after that, the White Sox showed up Game 6, and, and the Cubs really wanted to win Game 6. And it was a back-and-forth struggle, but... At the end of the day, the White Sox came out of the gate in the fifth inning. I think they scored six runs that game. And then they just completely um, pulled away. And it was smooth sailing from there. And they hoist their first World Series. And I have to say this, though. They won't be back until 1917 with the White Sox. And we all know what happened in that one. And then they'll be back in 1919. And that one, too... We all know what happened in that one. When we get there, well, that's going to be quite an adventure. Um, anyway, that is the third World Series, 1906. I don't really have too much more to say because, again, I wasn't around. But Frank Chance, too, he seems like a nice guy. And you're going to be seeing more of him because in the next episode, we're going to 1907. You know, all in chronologically here. Because, you know, after six comes seven, you know, eight doesn't come next. Seven does. Oh, God. It's like, why are the Cubs back? Come on, guys. Don't don't show Ah, Hey, but hey, we get another American League team, a new combatant. The Detroit Tigers. Oh, this is going to be exciting for the, first, the fourth World Series. My God, Cubs and Tigers. Oh, God. I, I really don't want to review the next one, but I'm going to have to suck it up and do it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you around in the next episode of the MLB Time Capsule 1907 Wood Series. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Walk Talk 21 for more great videos like this.